This video is brought to you by Gunplay SA, South Africa's favorite place for gunpla, related tools, supplies, resources, community, and so much more. Check out gunplaysa.com. Why are we happy? Why are we happy? Hey, Old Force, hey, why are we happy? Hello. Because we got stuff. Oh, <laughs> Yay! Yeah, some cool boxes. Um, sorry, do you want to put your phone or keep I'll it in your pocket? Just in case. I'll keep it in the. I'm just you said you're expecting. I'm expecting a call. Yeah. I'm expecting a call. I've got a parcel that has to get to the house. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. We've got a whole bunch of stuff. Yay! And. Wow, there's some cool things that we want to talk about, some cool new things. Mm -hmm. Also, we've got Screech here. Man, uh, <laughs> I was going to leave it as a surprise. <laughs> like a random person just walks into the front. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> a random person? <laughs> yeah, um, he's not ready to be a cameraman just yet. He's still healing. Yeah, he's still yes. a one arm. <laughs> oh, we can't make one arm jokes. Anyway. Cool, yeah. Um, Welcome, Screech. No, no need to be camera shy. <laughs> Okay, so here is the thing. Yes. We've got some new and we've got some new old stuff, which is pretty amazing. But let's get to something that's on everybody's mind right now because yeah. season two just started, mm -hmm. or the second core, or whatever they call it, yeah, yeah, yeah. just started. Pardon the, the phone messages. Which oh. from Mercury? Look at all these, how many? It's like 11, huh? 12? All, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's, it's a, a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. So cool, we got the frith back in, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is so good because this is honestly one okay. of the best kits. Um, before you know, people get too excited watching this video, it's like, oh yeah, a lot of them has been reserved already and many more are going down to Cape Town Comic Con with us next week. So yeah, um, but you know, we will get them back in. Also. Yeah, so, so yeah. guys, yeah, that actually just to entertain what Jeff is saying, a lot of these are pre-ordered. Mm -hmm. So all of you that are pre-ordered, your Witcher Mercury stuff has <laughs> arrived. Hopefully you're on the top of the list. Uh, Begwa bow, mm -hmm. very, very cool kit. Actually, I still prefer this to the Begwa Pente. Personally, Gundam Aerial, I'm sure you guys have seen, I've been working on mine. Yeah. Uh, also, fantastic kit. Delanza, yeah. And other flavor of Delanza, Lauda's one, mm -hmm. which is so cool uh, because of the different shoulder variation. So that's your like, kind of a troop builder one. Um, Choo Choo's Demi Trainer, surprisingly awesome kit. Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't think much of it initially, and then when I built one, I was like, damn, this thing's cool. In fact, actually, I think I saw Zenith build one, and I was turned on by it. Uh, Farrakt, because everybody loves this Edge Lord, mm -hmm. And um, like, unlike some of these kits here, this one actually got more than 10 seconds of screen time. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Daryl Balde, Darry Bold, the Lilla Bold, however you want to pronounce it, it's back in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And this um, makes me very happy. Michaela! Yeah, this well, is uh, my favorite um, design from um, which from Mercury at the moment. Dude, um, big time. Okay, my favorites. Now we have Screech here. Ooh. Which one is your Which is your favorite Witch from Mercury kit so far? <laughs> um, uh, put me on the spot. <laughs> put me on the spot. <laughs> Probably Tefaract. It's so so interesting, very insect like. Mm, I know you uh, like your nut. Uh, Lord. <laughs> Yeah, probably Farrak. Yeah, Farrak, I mean, I don't blame you, dude. Farrak is amazing. Okay, yeah, but now. But now. These two are new. Okay, so now we've got <laughs> another, my least <laughs> favorite design. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But actually, it looks pretty cool. Like, you've seen um, the new. I haven't seen the okay. new season okay. yet, actually. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so the, last, the last episode on Sunday, they showed uh, the 100 in action. And actually, I quite like the design. I dig it. I actually like it when you combine it with. Um, like I think it's the Zawot, like there's a cool, there's some good kit bashes out there. I feel like for me, the parts are cool. Hmm. Um, I know for other people like yourself, you really love the design. This artwork though on the box is so cool though. The thighs are very cool. Damn, I, I like, like their thigh on. And I love this. This is such a great like guide for weathering. Hmm. Like guys, please try and paint a kit up like this. Like hand paint a kit and get this kind of it's look. like a kind of weathered. Yeah, but also it's paintedly. It's got a paintedly look. Mm -hmm. I totally want to do that to one of these kits because I'm so inspired by the box art. Anyway, so the Heindry, and I want to see the. I actually want to the, see the plastic. The, the weapon is such a Ooh. weird um, thing. The, the the shield with the what's it? Yeah, there's like buckler with the blade. They called it the mountain shield, which is actually a real thing. I, I did some research. I don't know. If yes, that's. Yeah. It's a Spanish okay. weapon, I think. The, the the text is really small. The lantern shield. Yeah. Uh, I think it's an Italian thing. It's an Italian. I thought um, it was Spanish. Yeah, like the Knights on Patrol, they, they have the shield that has a lantern in it to like blind the opponent. Cool. I so, like that approach. That's so smart. So here, the lantern is probably just a gun. Yeah, because I'll blind you. 
that your head will go. <laughs> anyway, and we got the Lefrith. <laughs> you are. Or your Lefrith. Le le so I've got a thorn personally that I'm looking forward to building, but it's cool to have the Lefrith in so, stock. So now that we have Gundam Lefrith U R, are we gonna get a Lefrith I M? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where's no know, pants? It's a victory dance. I was talking about like the last Lefritz, uh, is you know, better than you know, Weasel. You know, like in, in school, when, I don't know, in school now, but like, kids are saying, oh, you're so nice. Like, no, oh, you are. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are. <laughs> anyway, so we got that down. Okay, so yeah, all the Witch from Mercury stuff. The Frith, uh, oh, there we go. The Frith, uh, legs with the Hindry. Is already like a winning combination. It's mm. like uh, chocolate and peanut butter. It's yeah, a great I taste. I prefer this goes. over the thorn because the thorn yeah. is just so chicken. I think this, the thorn looks so weird. That, <laughs> that's why I'm, I'm like attracted to the design. Mm -hmm. Also, I really just love the Lefrith leg. And Lefrith, ooh, I mm. love the legs. They're very mm. cool. Anyway, and Michaela's, yeah. Jeff, hey. I have to agree with Jeff. This is one of my top three favorite designs from Witch from Mercury so far. The head is very cool. It's very, very cool. Okay, Ooh. crossbone X1 so HG. Down with the uh, witch stuff and then, yeah, getting with the. Uh, getting into the some stuff. UC and further yeah. UC. <laughs> um, yeah, crossbone is back in stock. This is a fun little kit. Uh, just, just a fun little kit to have, a fun little kit to build and play with and just generally have, uh, you know, fun times. Make whoosh, swooshy sounds. <laughs> um, I enjoyed mine. Uh, so much so that I bought it twice. Oh anyway. God. This is an exciting <laughs> one. I love these. What a fucking goofy little dude. <laughs> that guy. That guy is super goofy. One of the other things about the Akai that's great is that's technically um, a Gundam kit that's also, I mean, a Gundam design that's also considered Moi. Because it's mm. like cheap. Yeah, it's considered yeah. a Moi design. So. Like a, like a very cute. Chibi. Yeah. Chibi <laughs> sort of thing. But also, I love this. Pl uh, it's just, it's a good kit. Didn't it's, they do like a, a like funny. Pose? Yeah, pose? Um, okay. the, the, I will, no, no, there is a signature pose, yeah. but like actually while we've got you, while I've got the camera here, mm -hmm. check this out, you can build it with the severed arm, which is called the arm repair, you can have it with two uh, missile launching arms, or you could have it with the claw arm, the claw arm has uh, also got like underside detail, so you can do mm -hmm. some cool damaging if you want to do like, uh, for an HG, that's pretty amazing, yeah. and arm extensions. Out. This yeah. kit came out after the MG, so they took a lot of the stuff that they... Yeah. That's correct, yeah. And the MG is chef's kiss. So yeah. this, I, I got one of these oh, not too long ago out of curiosity. And I also, I love the Ak guy. Mm. It's also a great platform for like weathering. And check out, I mean, look Ooh. how detailed that is. It's such a simple kit, but it's actually got so much going on for it. Look at that beautiful clear canopy going on there. What, you can have a clear headpiece? or? Yeah, it, it is a clear headpiece that goes under the shell. Ah. Yeah. Some hey, bits. it's nice to see only like one sticker, eh? Yeah. Screech, you don't get your, your sticker time. <laughs> you don't have to hate anymore. <laughs> so that's an Ak guy. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, jump on these quite quickly because I think there's quite a few fans of the Ak guy out mm. there. Um, we got a turn A Gundam, Yay. which is pretty rad. Uh, back in, I don't want to put too much uh, emphasis on it right now because we've had it before. Yeah. Um, but yeah, turn A is pretty rad. Mm -hmm. More Ale Strike Gundam because apparently that's people it. can't get enough. Mm -hmm. of the Strike Gundam and one of my all-time favorites is the wing, the wing. which is weird because it's like it's taken me a while to love the wing but now I love it like just unconditionally now uh, one of the best designs in IBO in my personal opinion is the Camaros Vidar mm -hmm. and the reason I dig it is because it's just so freaky looking yeah. and it's got so much this going for it. This is probably the ultimate uh, villain suit? Yes, right? yeah. The bail was kind of like, mm. Yeah, because it's the Vidar, <laughs> it's the Gundam Vidar and the Gundam Kamaras yeah. parts that are, mi are mixed together, so... Can we, can we say spoilers? Dude, for a show, it's like 10 years old, man. <laughs> yeah. Go for it, yeah. I mean, like, you know, the stink kick, kick bails ass. Yeah, like, big time. <laughs> and also, I mean, look at that tasty blue. And, I mean, that's just, as you're blue, you just go for that. Anyway, I'm, I'm keen to build one of these one day. I... Really love this design, and I've just had the misfortune of every time when I wanted to get one, they were always out of stock. I mean, speaking about IBO, there's another one, but this is from the game. Though, yeah, know? this is from the Oda Hunt. Yeah. yeah. So it's just cool to have these back in. It's uh, Cyclops' Schwabel Grays. Mm -hmm. um, in a lot of ways, it's kind of the ultimate uh, Grays because of the weapons and stuff that it has. Yeah. If you've ever built a Grays before and you haven't built this one, this one's cool because all the additional weapons in the flight suit at the back. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, but they're great kits, so... Yeah. Shame, Scooch, we're going gonna to gonna force you to jump in when we talk about the mess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, Gundam, Thumbo uh, Gundam Thunderbolt, the Atlas Gundam. It's the, sur cool. it's the surfer that? dude, isn't it? The surfer dude, yeah. yeah. Ooh, guys, <laughs> I'm just the, this design <laughs> what? is outlandish, but it is so mm. cool in the, in the, the OVA. Yeah. Uh, I, I, for one, want a master grade of this, personally. Mm -hmm. But when I show you guys some of the details, I mean, look at, look at everything it can do. Yeah, it's, it's got a lot of uh, equipment, eh? Hey? It's a chunky kit. And um, it's cool to see that it's such a, such a cool like, Gundam uh, unit it's, come out it's of... It's also like an amphibious uh, yes. in Gundam. Yeah. yeah. That's why the joints kind of look a bit funny. Yes, um, it's got those rounded joints. Yeah, it's very... Um, also, just the way the shield works and everything, it's just so mad. Mm. Uh, but I love it, and that's what you expect from something like Gundam Thunderbolt. Yeah. It's like these mad, mad designs. Anyway, so guys, if you've been dying for an Atlas, now's the time. Mm -hmm. And then the... Speaking about Thunderbolt. Yeah, the original, t the titular the suit, the heavy full armor. armor. Yeah, full armor, sorry, full armor Gundam. I keep wanting to call it heavy armor. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of plastic in this box. <laughs> so you got, basically, it's an RX-78, but plus. <laughs> Okay, and it's got mad shields, and it's got these special things to hold uh, all of the like crazy shields around it. And the reason for that is because it operates in the Thunderbolt zone, mm -hmm. which is full of like debris um, from uh, destroyed colonies, and so that's just to protect the the unit from getting hit by stray yeah. debris. Yeah, also the thunder. And the thunder, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but weaponed up to the max, and ooh, it's got such yes. a tasty blue. Yeah, that's beautiful. Normally you put the manual at the bottom of this. Yeah, I know. It's weird okay. that this one's at the top. <laughs> um, I do, I, I, I'm going to warn you guys, a little bit sticker heavy. Yeah, for the shields. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So if you want to just paint up the shields, yeah. Yeah, paint up the shields. Maybe it's maybe it's time for you to paint up the shields and you can use the EFSF uh, yeah. stickers here, the nice oh, ones. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's only that little orange piece that you have to worry about anyway. Cool. Okay, okay cool. No. Um, big boy. Screech, this is your this is your Screech likes yeah. the mess. That's, that's kind of <laughs> I'm sure you all know how much I love this kit. I like it. It is beautiful. We, we, we can't see. Uh, we can't wait to see you paint yours, eh? Yeah, I, I'm. Uh, I'm getting on it. <laughs> Still recovering slowly, but oh, I'm glad that it's more is coming into stock. It's such mm. a beautiful kit. If you haven't, if you on the fence about, it, yeah, don't be on the fence. Get one. Yeah. <laughs> Look at, look at that, look at that chunky boy. Don't be on the fence, be on the way. <laughs> the moment I saw it in the movie, I just fell in love. It's mm. Yeah, it's, it's my favorite uh, suit from the movie as well. Yeah, by far. <laughs> the, the grand suit is what I'm there for, yeah. yeah. It's got that quality that uh, Gyarodoga, I like the latter UC suits have, like the mm -hmm. Gyarodoga and the Yakudoga and all that, they look kind of ogre-like. Mm. That's what I dig about it. Mm. But yeah, it's just its size, man. It's freaking huge. Yeah. <laughs> the proportions are so... It just... It just looks mm. so good and so realistic. My only gripe with it is just the back thrust of it. Yeah, that's there. the only oh. thing. <laughs> but yeah, just kit bash. Make something big. I'll if you need to. Yeah. But like, yeah, that thing's got a lot of mm. lot happening. Okay. So, Sinanju yeah. Stein from the, narr the narrative version of the Sinanju Stein. Mm -hmm. Not to be confused with the Sinanju Stein. Mm -hmm. Okay. Basically the same. Except this one is a lot more prototype looking. Yeah. Um, and it's well, also got well, the... The narrative version of a Shinanjistan, biggest difference that you'll see is the sleeve details. Yep. Yeah. Okay, it's not really focusing, it's too close, but yeah. Hmm. And the shield, uh, uh, yeah, sleeve details, the flat shield, which is kind of a uh, the narrative kind of, I mean, Shinanju Stein thing. Mm -hmm. And also the high news gun. Hmm. Yeah. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, I think Zenith is building one of these right now. It's yeah. a very, very cool looking kit. I would love to get one, but I'm going to finish my RG first. <laughs> but uh, for the rest of you, please get one because they're actually so good. And it's also cool. It's a different aesthetic to the normal Sananju. So sometimes I, there are people out there that feel the Sananju is just a little too round for their liking. This kind of fixes that a bit. Mm. Yeah. Also a good time to practice the reverse washing. Yes. That's yeah. just a bad. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, I was... Very cool. What okay. is another, this box? Narrative. It's a <laughs> big box. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. <laughs> um, narrative. Gundam yeah. Apex. 
So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the first time we saw this gun, I was like, oh, what the heck? It's got a huge mobile armor that it sits into. Yep. It is a mobile armor, right? It is a mobile it's armor, yeah. Pack. Well, it's a pack. It's a yeah. pack, but I mean, it's basically yeah. a small dendrobium, basically. So the Gundam itself, let me just look at the show of that um, photo, is that it's kind of, it's like a scarecrow, that's yeah, what they call it. So it's like, it's not really armored up, it's basically, it just sits into this big pack thing, yeah. Yeah, it's very skeletal looking. Yeah, skeletal. It's kind of a, I think the idea of the narrative, if I'm not mistaken, is it's a prototype one of the prototypes for the unicorn or one of the prototypes after the unicorn to mm. try and mass produce the unicorn mm. if, I'm, if i'm not mistaken but yeah i mean guys look at this yeah, there's a lot of all oh, the pieces <laughs> look at those beam sabers dude those are like fully armored double dead gundam master grade yeah. beam what sabers. The? Yeah. i think these are like perfect grade beam sabers yeah, that looks no, no, perfect like, grade. i built a fast and those are the beam sabers from the fast hmm. yeah Actually, it's madness yeah. That's In fact, crazy. let me check the date. Yeah, 2000, Bandai 2000. Okay. That's how old those beam sabers are. So yeah, use them as chopsticks. you could probably use them <laughs> as chopsticks. And it's got these little clear little stand standies mm. here uh, because of all the floaty thingies. But I don't want to mess with it too much because this was a special order. Um, somebody asked for it by name, so we made it happen for them. And yeah, one day, one day, Jeff, one day we'll build one. One day. Ugh. Okay, should I get the uh, giant blue-sized uh, elephant out of the room? Wait, what is that thing? This thing. A perfect grade? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, gee, okay. Is the lift? I'm gonna be like one of those lame controller holding <laughs> things. Yeah, whenever a box that comes with a handle, then you know it's serious business. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Business. That's yeah. the size of like a um, MG Suzabi, but even Suzabi doesn't have a handle. Just a bit thinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remember once upon a time, Master Grades pretty much always had this long box. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, this is an exciting kit. This is a kit I'm personally very excited for because it's a non-Gundam uh, mobile suit, mm -hmm. uh, which is always a it's cool. From, yeah, it's from Orange Cat Industry. Yeah, the same then, people who made the Ninja Cat. Yeah, I think. and then yeah, 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 that's correct. And then in Japan, this it's it's distributed by Wave. Yeah. So this artwork is like, okay, but check out the actual kit. The design is very, very cool. So I dig this a lot because it looks like something that should be in like Super Robot Wars. Mm. I like the sharp angles. This is very much a pull design. Lots of sharp, hard angles. And I dig it. It's just the right thing. But here's a cool thing as well. It's got LED, apparently. Um, it's got LED. It's got a whole bunch of pieces. It's got a whole bunch of parts. There you go. There you go. There we go. But it does say um, battery is not included, but so it's a CR311. So yeah. yeah. So, but anyway, guys, I will be building one of these up for your pleasure and mine. And uh, yeah, and then you can see how awesome it is. Yeah, I don't know how many of these we'll be able to get again. Mm -hmm. So if you are keen, get yourself in a style of very unusual kit, a uh, very unusual design for us. Anyway, speed armor, um, as I've now learned. Speed armor. So now if you somehow messed up the butt of your waifu kit, <laughs> you've got replacement bum. <laughs> some cheeks. Some cheeks. You've got some extra cheeks there. Good times. No, but this is actually like cool like kitty cat looking armor. Yeah, yeah. So if you've got the rochetta, this is perfect for it. Yeah. So you can make a you can make a cool waifu. Then we got the chains from 30 Minute Missions. Mm -hmm. With the extra so attachment cool. point. They are so cool. That sword. The, you're wrapping around the sword, it's so cool. Yeah, that's it's so really forbidden, cool that's so yeah. Final Fantasy, I mean not Final Fantasy, like Kingdom Dark Hearts. Souls. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Kingdom Hearts, yeah. And then we got some more. Are, are you thinking about your Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> When's your Kingdom Hearts? Uh... Eventually, eventually. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no pressure. And we got some more shitty shitty bang bang stuff mm -hmm. for 30 minute missions, awesome. We also got this weirdo, mm -hmm. uh, this uh, spacecraft version black. Uh, basically, I just see it as really interesting legs and arms legs, and yeah. stuff to put on my 30 minute missions. Mm. Especially on the Forestary, because I love the Forestary, it's kind of like powered armor, which I really dig. Uh, we've got more Port Novas in with the cool skull face. For some mm. reason, I always just see a skull when I look at that. Yeah, it's those three lines over there. But nobody cares anymore about 30 minute <laughs> missions, they care about 30 <laughs> minute <laughs> sisters! And not just these two, these are these are sisters, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's Laurenel and Laurenel. And, oh sorry, that's color A, color B. So, <laughs> I don't know if you guys checked out Zaku Aurelius' uh, review of these. Mm -hmm. Firstly, I think the quality of these 30 minutes sisters is amazing. And I can't believe until now, I never noticed that she didn't have hands. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, she's Rockman. Well, she she oh, does yeah. have hands included with the kit, but when she does have this armor That's on... That's a shooting mode, like yeah. Rockman. Yeah, the hand disappears and the gun comes. The, okay, there's one picture there's, uh, there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's her normal hands. And when she has the armored hands, there's... Uh, come on, focus. Focus. Yeah, focus, there's, damn there's, it. There's teeth um, details. Yes, yeah, like a big rabbit head or something. Hmm. Anyway, cool. something that's kind of cool about this suit in particular. I mean, obviously, 30 minute sisters, you can merge with bash. other stuff. You can get bash. Mm -hmm. uh, but her sister is black and pink, yep. not like the Korean band. <laughs> um, but you can actually switch a lot, a lot of the parts around. So you can kind of make these cool alternate versions. Or in fact, they actually think, encourage it. Um, they encourage that you combine both yes. of them together. Yes. Um, and you can make them hold their hands. Because one sister mm. has the arm armor and another sister has the leg, the leg armor. armor. Yeah. So you combine them, that's exactly what I was getting at. <laughs> and um, yeah, super cool. Really, really cool design. So I, I don't know, uh, are you into black and pink or white and pink? Or are you into both? Personally, I'm, I'm into the black and pink. The same. Yeah. <laughs> the leg armors look pretty cool. Yeah, the leg armor is exciting for me. It's a bunny, it's a bunny um, thing to it. I also like the red eyes, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Anyway. Hey! Hey! Jump in again, jump in. Yay! It's <laughs> knock off Chommy Bot Mon. <laughs> <laughs> but that gives people ideas. Get one and make a Chommy Bot. <laughs> uh, Metagross. I'm it's a, very hard for it. Is that what it's got, called? You've got Super your, gross. Actually, this is the reason why um, Scrooge came in today. <laughs> he wants to pick up his uh, reserved uh, kits early. You know, his Pokemons and something else. Uh, we'll some, uh, no spoilers yet. But, uh, no speaking spoilers. about this Metagross, you've got a paint scheme that you want to do. I'm right? going to do a shiny version. So, silver body, then uh, yellow slash gold yeah. cross. I'm so very excited. Uh, got I want to see that too. Yeah, I've got oh. the colors already. Probably going to try and do it this weekend if uh, the power stays on. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, but uh, these small kits is really perfect for, for getting into painting, you know, because they, they don't have too many parts. So you should put it out, you know, pretty quickly. Yeah, hardly, yeah. hardly any seam lines, which is also great. Mm. But we've got another Pokemon in. Yeah. Yeah. Pokemon expert. Profes Death Profes Onion. Okay. Death. I was waiting for the, the knockoff <laughs> name. Death Onion. <laughs> it doesn't exactly look like it's Death. Like garlic, man. Garlic. Death Garlic. Death Garlic. Cabbage Boy. <laughs> so Death yeah, cabbage. Bulbasaur to add to the growing line of the Gen 1 starters. We got hmm. Charmander. We don't have Squirtle yet. Yeah, Squirtle's gonna probably gonna be... Yeah, hopefully oh, next. The end of the year, Hurry up, damn it! I want Squirtle. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Although, I've got to say, Bulbasaur's got me intrigued. Mm. Bulbasaur. Yeah, Bulbasaur is a, is a fan favorite. Hmm. So oh, yeah. it's a starter. I mean, here they're showing you, like, look, two of the three starters. <laughs> There's a question mark there, just... Uh, yeah, <laughs> no like, Squirtle. You have a silhouette shadow. Like... We have to rescue Squirtle from, from uh, what's his name, Red, from Pokemon Red. Because <laughs> he lives up in the mountains. I don't know how I know this stuff and I'm not a Pokemon fan, that's weird. Should anyway, we jump, should we jump to, to the other one? Should we get to the other uh, irresponsible uh, children anime? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Scrooge. What is this? Yeah. Oh, Tess. You, Blue the... eyes white dragon! <laughs> oh, it's so Wait, cool! How does Seto, anime Rattalos. How does Seto Kaiba in Japanese uh, dub say it? Like, Blue eyes white dragon! <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, yeah. it is so cool. I've opened up my one. Uh, open up this one. Okay, should I open up this one, up this one? Yeah, this one yeah. also? Show, show the people. Uh, show, don't tell. The glossy, oh. like, nice blue finish. Let's show it on this. Dude, this, this part, eh? Check out this Where's long the piece. Yeah, oh, the tail. Uh, that's crazy. Oh, oh, no, wait, that's for the wings. Yeah. Yeah. This is the hit. You just pretty much molested this kid now. <laughs> but anyway. And, and the tongue. And ah. the tongue. Ah. Let's show the wings also. Comes with an action base, because what dragon can't fly? <laughs> oh, there's the wings. So this is from Game of Thrones, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one that... Uh, the, is this the one that dies in the show? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, it also kills Dumbledore. It was very, <laughs> it was very confusing. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> no, guys, this is super cool. Mm. I, I, okay, I like Yu-Gi-Oh. I really do like Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm. Like, legit like Yu-Gi-Oh. But I've never, like, ever felt compelled to buy any Yu-Gi-Oh merch mm -hmm. until now. Uh, yeah, yeah, the blue eyes is just so iconic. It is too cool. We've got, uh, what, a few months later, we've got the... Exodia! Exodia. <laughs> so hopefully after that, we get a 
uh, what's it? Red eyes, black dragon. Oh. I'm pretty sure, and that's like not even a color swap. That'll that's probably like a be a P Bandai. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think uh, red eyes, black dragon is pretty popular. I think mm. we'll get it. Uh, I hope. I hope. <laughs> Six <laughs> months later, balls wrong. Is it just me or like this power here has a lot of blue kits? There's a lot of blue happening here. <laughs> even horror plus, like yeah. I can't breathe. I'm yeah, supposed to breathe. Even his no paint roll is blue. <laughs> He's also got kitty cat ears. Maybe you can combine these two together. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Uh, let's not go there. Um, and then we have what I think is the oh, most nice. misleading and upsetting box art ever. It's not that the artwork isn't cool, it's just that, geez, there's a there's lot a happening here. Like, what is there. going on? I don't even, uh, what, what is the Gundam? Is this its gun? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, and then I just turned the side, I'm like, oh, oh that's pretty cool, that right? Is it is pretty cool though. Like, when you actually see it, it's pretty cool. The box art makes it look like a Marvel vs. Capcom villain or something. Yeah, but exactly. This one is a villain suit, yeah. And it also looks like a Yu Gi Oh card. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. But the mech is awesome. Mm. Love this thing. It looks really, really cool. And it's especially cool for guys who are fans really of like the, guns, the, the Felina and stuff. The yeah. legs are also very like turn X like. Yes. Mm. With the heel Heels. kind of thing. In fact, this whole design language for this is very it's turn very X. Like Zion. And very um, Gundam Age, the aliens, the bad guys. Okay, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. With the, all the curvy parts, yeah. Okay, here we have a censored kit. <laughs> it's Mutsumi Kawashi. I'm yeah, going to show you the um, side of this, the box. This is like somebody requested this kit. Um, so feel maybe it's better to keep it in its uh, wrapper. Yeah, but if you can see something there, I mean, mm. I like this a lot. Yeah. And this is also one of the, um, this is a Megami device. device. Yeah. yeah, so this is not a, I almost called it a Figma, but this is, yeah, Megami device. Mm -hmm. And then there's those other girls. Anyway, it's not a frame arms girl. It's mm -hmm. a Megami. But I really dig all the like weapons and like, so cool. It's got, like a huge rifle and this one's like, a big hammer. Yeah. I think this one's a wolf. Yeah. I meant to be the wolf. I think, if I'm not mistaken, because yeah, yeah, the I, uh, this one's the wolf, and yeah, there's another one that's a cat or something or a jackal. Okay. I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, it's that whole vibe. It's very cool. Um, I really want to build one Either of those. Either way, if it's an anime girl, it's always got to have to Waifu! But I love that sniper gun. Sniper gun. And, okay. you know, everybody, I know you guys all, like, don't care about, you know, Kyokai Senki. Senki anymore. <laughs> and you're like, I'm a warrior at the borderline, whatever, who cares? But I care, because this is a good looking kit, and it's got a funny cool drill hand thing. And that other hand there, that looks nasty. Yeah, it's very industrial looking. Mm. Oh, it's like a digger. Yeah. 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 Just dig in there, like go until it gets red. So maybe <laughs> this one will be used for like rescue missions or something, you know? Mm. Yeah, after like big earthquake. And yes, let me rescue, rescue this guy's soul from his body. <laughs> 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 anyway, so that happened. Um, then we got a nice restock of real great stuff. Uh, tall geese. Mm -hmm. So everybody loves tall goose. Thanks, loud lungs. Uh, and good to have these back in, Unicorn Banshee. Mm. Yes, all the sanding, but rewarding. <laughs> so cool. It's like, it's like the unicorn that sneaks out at night to party. <laughs> <laughs> the Zeta Gundam, don't listen to yeah. haters. This is an amazing kit. Yeah. Just, it's, it's a uh, kit, it's not a toy. Don't just, flop it around. Yeah, just just yeah. Uh, be mindful when you're building it though, because it does have lots of smaller pieces. It does, but it's an outstanding kit. It's probably one of the best representations of the Zeta. Hmm. I mean, we've got three great representations of, of the Zeta Gundam, and this one does not disappoint. The real great Sinanju is disappointing, not the Zeta. Hmm. Yeah, the real great Sinanju is beautiful. It's just my word that thinks fragile is all hell. <laughs> um, Ale Strike, also beautiful, beautiful real grade. Mm -hmm. Good to have it back in, especially. It's a really good real grade for having the full frame as well. Mm. So yeah, so I also highly recommend this kit, this build, especially if you're a big fan of the strike, um, or you want to do your own custom strike. Maybe you want to do like strike green. You want to make a gray, <laughs> then go for it. Cool. Then we've got uh, Xia, Xia, Master Grade Xia. It's a great kit. Uh, as far as Master Grades go, it's not the most exciting. Yeah. Um, so it's still one of my favorite uh, Master Grades, or even just designs from Double O. Yeah. It's a great it's design. I just, I always, I feel like this is also a design that kind of needs a version two at some point. Hmm. I feel like they rushed this a little bit. They were too uh, focused on the technology for all the shiny things. I don't know. I don't have much complaints with mine. Obviously, yeah, it does, it, it does get loose joints over time, but you know, a little bit of super glue that solves the trick, you know? Yeah, totally. But hey, you know what, if you love X here, you're going to love this anyway. So, I mean, that's what it comes down to, right? Your mileage may vary. But if you don't love the X here, or you like the X here and you want X here plus, mm -hmm. double O, 
point. The, the ultimate version. Ultimate version. Yeah. With its Devil super long, 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 long oh. sword to make up for its lack of personality. <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> I am a gun. Yes, yes, it's no shh. <laughs> okay, and now for one of the best mobile suit designs ever made and one of the best master grades ever made. Oh, Yakushiki. Yakushiki. And I just want to just blind everybody Last. quickly for a Last second. <laughs> so, there we go, that was super super cool. Love the Hyakushiki, I, I just can't stress how much you should have one, and especially with the new Zeta around the corner, mm -hmm. you want a Hyakushiki, because they're buddies. Mm -hmm. Cool. Buddy buddies. Buddy buddies, I don't want to go into this too much, but F91 is an amazing master grade. It's a really special one for me, because I just love the F91. It's a great build, if you've never built a master grade before, this is possibly one of the best ones to start with. Mm -hmm. And, it's just amazing. It's an F91. Yeah, if I didn't have this... <laughs> it's, a, it's a heavy boy, eh? Oh, I love this kit yeah. so much. The high new. It looks so... It's so chonk, but it's so slim at the same time. It's so clever, the design on this. I love how they... Like, this design, the original, is actually very chunky, which I can't stand. Mm. And then uh, Bandai did, like, another one, which is too thin for me. And this is, like, the right balance between the two. It's got the heft, yeah. but the... the the like agility to look to it. I don't know. I just dig it. Personally, my favorite like iteration is the RG. Honey. RG is yeah. uh, is uh, for, for yeah. me. I, I find the the MG Vakar's uh, legs are a bit too chunky for me. All oh, right. Yeah. Now I feel you. Listen, this is even enhanced if you can get the full mm. armor set. But this but, is more mm. faithful to the original design. Though. It is. Yeah, yeah. I would say. I would say it's novel? more faithful to the, yeah. yeah to the novel to Bolt Torture because children, and then um an oddball. Mm. So. I don't love the strike, but I love the strike noir. Hmm. I like the fact that it's got two pistols. It does it's, the whole guns akimbo the, thing. It's the edge lord of the. It's strike. the edge lord, yeah. yeah, and it's a pretty good OVA if you guys can still find it on the internet. And the wing yeah, opens so, into like yeah, a railgun. So, so, yeah. No, well, not just a railgun. Hey? It's even got a sword and the freaking wings. Everything. <laughs> it's too cool. Does like if this was a beat em up game, this would be the character you'd yeah. want to use a lot. So just a heads up, this is based off the like the first uh, MG for the strike. Yeah. So the internal frame is a bit dated, but still the design is really really cool. Yes, uh, and Jeff is 100% right. It is a bit dated, although they did fix one or two things for the knees and the arms for the uh, possibility on the mm. on the noir. This yeah, is I'm kind of like at all the wings. This is like secretly a strike version 1.2. <laughs> But yeah, I loved this when I got it back in the day. I think it was a 2005 release. Here's the date. Um, there it is. 2007. Yeah, yeah I, I've, that's when I got mine. <laughs> Guys, this is a goodie. Um, it is a little bit floppy. Unfortunately, that's a, a symptom of its of its age, uh, of its of its time, of but its you release. You can always use the super glue trick just to, you know... Just to enhance the joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I don't mean, I don't mean by like super gloomy as in like you know permanently stuck in one. No, place. just to, you enhance the ball joint, so you have yeah, yeah, the yeah, ball yeah. joint and you super glue, Make it and then it makes it thicker. more bitey, yeah. bitey. Yeah. Okay, so, oh, okay. Man, that's that's quite a table and boxes of restocks, eh? But like I said um, in the beginning of the video, a lot of them will be going down to Cape Town, so we will keep a few on our websites, you know, over the weekend. So, uh, what is your three favorites? Uh, let's go with Screech first. Let's let's hmm. Screech. I'll, I'll, uh, we can do one and one because I need time to think. It's the, <laughs> yeah. it's the blue eyes. Yeah, it? it's the blue eyes. It has to be. <laughs> of course, it is. there you go. Guys, yeah. it's, it's too cool. And that box art, eh? it's so it's, cool. Oh, you know like, what? Uh, you know what? Looking at the box art, it's such a shame they missed the opportunity. They should have given you a thick part of the ball. Oh, like that would be very cool. Hey, Bandai. Yeah. 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 That will be cool. <laughs> to be fair, you have like 30 minute mission, uh, like exploding effects part, oh, yeah. so you could probably yeah. add that. You could do that. And also the destroyed floor stuff. You can mm. have it on there. And hmm. the I just gave. Yeah, hmm. gave myself yeah. A yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> you should, now, uh, you, now you're thinking. You should email P, uh, Bandai, say, hey, you know, created me for idea. <laughs> but I'll be like, ha, 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 we'll think about it. It's Japanese for no. <laughs> Go on, Paul, choose your big box. Uh, yeah, I'm going to choose my big box. This is my favorite for this. Mm -hmm. It's not every day that a big box like this comes into my life that I get excited about. So it's nice when it does. So I'm happy it's here. And yeah, this is a big one for me. And I'm hoping it'll be a big one for you guys as well. Hmm. Um, I think a lot of guys on online are quite excited about this in the so Discord. Cool. And... Um, well, just to give Screech more time to think, another one of my favorites, and this might catch everybody off guard, mm -hmm. is this kit. 
Oh my god. <laughs> cutie. It's such a cutie and it's just so... Like this thing has like no seams. Like I think it's got one stupid seam somewhere but uh, you it's can... It's funny, uh, I, I built the bear guy and I know there's a seam. Yeah, there's a seam there. But you can make that, you can... You can um, chamfer it and mm -hmm. make it an intentional seam line so hmm. and in fact that's what I would do anyway I don't like it looking too quote unquote anime one, one, I like one, it one. looking more mech like yeah mm -hmm. so yeah and this is just it's just a, a lot of big surface area for you guys to really just have fun with the painting I think that's why the bear guy is so popular it's just got that chunk feel mm -hmm. and also just that, that sort of um, approachability to it anyway Screech what's your next one dude Oh, the anyway, Silver Surfer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be cool if somebody Silver had Surfer. the Silver Surfer custom. I think the, the whole shield like, gimmick is super cool. <laughs> the railgun also. Oh, yeah, this is so cool. I was mm. fanboying behind yeah, the it's, camera. It's a very unique Gundam design. <laughs> cool. You should totally yeah. see it in the anime. One more. One more. One more. Um, actually, where, where's it gone now? Where? Normally I would push something that I love a lot like the Hyakushiki and the F91 and the Strike Noir and they are all great kits hmm. but, but we've given them spotlights but We've given them spotlights before I, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's my... That's a, that's a sound effect from Rockman if you guys don't know Are <laughs> um, looking for the Le Frith No, not the Le Frith <laughs> I actually feel like... And I know I've kind of given it the spotlight before, but... Ah, this is a beautiful Frith. kit. The Le Frith, The actual Le Frith. It's a really, really stunning kit. And I don't feel like it gets... Because, you know, it's like from the prologue and everything. Yeah. It doesn't get the attention and the respect I it deserves. I have to say, Le, Le Frith Gundam is my favorite Gundam design in Witch of Mercury. Oh, yeah, I feel you on that. Like, I, the reason I'm modding the aerial is because I want the aerial to be what I want it to be. Mm. Like, I really love the aerial from the first blush. I mean, Jeff was there, we were all there on the, on the broadcast. And I've always loved the design. But over time, I've seen, like, things that I want to change about it. But the Lafritz mm. has stayed evergreen for me. It's always mm. been, like, a goodie. It is, so, yeah. it is a very classic look. Cool. Um, also, there's, like, no work to do on that kit. So great. Uh, just an honorable mention. This, these chains are really cool. <laughs> That's my 2.5 pick. <laughs> you get them for your blue eyes, dude. Like, oh, yeah. Exodia also, more chains. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're um, for my oh, trap card. A big one. <laughs> it's, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I really think that it's. Um, yeah, this is probably a better way to look at it. It's yeah. a mech in a boat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mech in a boat, baby. <laughs> it's got claws as well, eh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> I think it, it's like, it's like the part of the dendrobium you actually want. Mm. You know, <laughs> because the dendrobium is like really huge. Mm. But the front part's where all the action is with all the claws and the guns and the bazookas. So like, Bandai was like, yeah, let's just cut the fat and then just go for like... You know, the flavor. Even the crow uh, looks really cool. He's an mm. interesting design. Mm. I'll grant, I'll grant it's, that. It's a very brave design from Bandai. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Or, or Sunrise or whoever. It's also a pity that they never like, like they did the OVA as a streaming thing only. Mm -hmm. But they haven't put it on like Netflix and stuff um, outside of Asia, which is annoying. Because it's actually kind of an important thing to watch. It makes Hathaway a little bit more interesting. Mm. It makes Unicorn more, more interesting. Watching narrative. Yeah, just, just so you understand hmm. how the Federation is. Hmm. And also the, um, uh, what is that, uh, the, the trade company, the... Trade company? The, the... Anaheim? Eclipse? No, not Anaheim, the hmm. other ones. Um, I'm blanking on the name now, but basically they finance the war. Hmm. Um, they finance the AUK. Okay. And so it's cool to see that they are involved with this thing as well. Hmm. And like, and it's also just to make you, just to remind you that in war, even though you think it's a good guy, they're not really good guys. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Then, uh, you want to do a sign off? Yes. Talk about uh, Comic Con or anything yeah, else? Yeah, so. Oh, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. For Comic Con, we're getting yes. stickers. Jeff will do a sign off. Yeah. We're getting, <laughs> we're getting stickers. We don't have them just yet, but I'm expecting them today or tomorrow. The Chummy Boss, uh, the new one. Yeah, so basically, Ooh, any purchase at man. Comic Con, it's a limited edition sticker. Yeah. I've done by Illustrator by Paul. Uh, I will show, you know, I will insert a picture here. Is it the <laughs> teaser though? Just a black silhouette? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Yeah, so, so evil. <laughs> for all the guys that's come to visit us here at Comic Con, if you make a purchase of any like model kit of a robot, you will get a limited edition. Uh, Tommy sticker. Boss sticker. Yeah. And yeah, they, I'm um, like, I really love this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
like really love this one so i don't know I, I maybe i love it and you guys hate it but i don't know <laughs> we'll see but yeah it's a goodie um and then yeah and then the, and the next time you're going to see us we'll be at comic-con so yes. jeff and i will be yeah. doing this so with the camera the running around yeah something like that maybe as we're getting into the plane we'll do all kinds of annoying stuff <laughs> 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 but we'll we'll put take you on our journey because we know a lot of you can't make it to comic-con cape town mm. Um, but for those of you who do, we can't wait to see you guys. Yeah. The Cape Town Vault Force. Cape Town, no, yeah, we're super, super amped to see you guys. Um, and, and maybe not so super, super important, but uh, I recommend if you're going to get a kit, try and get yourself a kit now hmm. uh, when this video goes live, because then at least it'll get to you before the long weekend. Hmm. Okay, so hmm. that's something to think about. And we've got cool new stuff. So. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And uh, you want to grab something? It's uh, smash. Uh, smash. Camera smash. Big oh. box. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do, do marine types. How, how do you smash two kits into, into the camera? I will do the <laughs> crack. <laughs> 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 Plastic crack. No, there we go. That's, that's a pro tip. Yeah. Okay. Shot, guys. Yeah. And until next time, keep, keep building, building joy. joy marine units. <laughs>